This video demonstrates how to use a micropipette. The micropipette, we are going to use delivers variable volumes between 10 and 50 microliters. A micropipette has several parts. A handle, a movable barrel with preset volumes, a plunger, a collet screw, and a capillary tube. To select the volume, slide the barrel till the selector position is aligned with the volume and lock it into position. The plunger moves up and down by pressing and releasing the plunger rod. First, inspect the micropipette to make sure it is clean and not damaged. Verify that the micropipette is calibrated. Lock the barrel to the 50 microliter line. Press the plunger and verify that the tip of the plunger is aligned with the black line on the capillary tube. If it is not properly calibrated, loosen the screw and slide the capillary tube for proper alignment. Tighten the screw back. Adjust the micropipette for the volume required. We are going to pipette 10 microliters. Unlock the barrel, slide it to the 10 microliter line and lock it. Rinse the micropipette with deionized water a couple of times. With the plunger pressed all the way down, remove the pipette from the water and wipe it well, especially the plunger tip. We are going to pipette 10 microliters of blood into a saline solution. Make sure to mix the sample very well. Press the plunger down, insert the tip inside the blood sample and gently release the plunger. Wipe the capillary tube, being careful not to remove any sample. Deliver the blood to the saline by touching the liquid surface. Press the plunger and maintaining the plunger down, use it as a steering rod. With the plunger still all the way down, remove the pipette from the solution. Parafilm the tube and gently mix it by inversion. Rinse the micropipette in deionized water a couple of times and carefully wipe it. You are now ready to pipette another sample.